Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is Mike and I. Uh, I guess I'm still going to go by Don. I, I have such a hard time introducing myself. So weird. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, we're going to talk about... Uh, we got another AI video for you guys. Some more job loss stuff is coming, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna we're gonna give you the the highlights and then kind of kind of give you our, our opinion. Any uh, I always like to ask you this, Mike. Any anything you want to say up front? You know the article we're gonna get into. What do you what are you thinking? We we called this out. We knew it was coming. What what do you got for us? Uh, yeah, it's just more more of proving us right that that things are coming and they're coming faster than what we thought. Hmm. And then. Real quick, for anybody out there, I want to know in the comments down below, at the time of watching this, because we're going to record this and upload it, and I'm asking you, Mike, have you guys heard about Devin? Let me know in the comments down, down below. Okay, I'm going to tell you who Devin is, what Devin is, okay. after we get into this report. So we got another report of a job, job, a company, sorry, a company. But they are slashing jobs. IBM is slashing jobs in marketing and communications, which is something we've gone over multiple times in here. Uh, you know, when we're talking about our job losses, we used to think, and I used to think, I kind of think everybody was on the same same page with this. Like, uh, and I rated a lot with money wise because uh, I, I kind of like that AI is attacking from the top. Maybe it's just because I'm a bit, I don't know. I've been on all the. Uh, What's it, the the classes, the lower class, the middle class? I've seen them all. I can't stand how much the lower class just gets beat down, you know. Uh, but we, everyone, kind of thought factory jobs, all that, uh, was going to get taken over first. But then we came to the conclusion that AI is going to take over everything else because we just don't physically have the robots, which is another video for another time. But it, it's hitting all the jobs. We've talked about lawyers, accountants. Uh, and then your next one was literally what we're going to get into now, marketing and communications. The the, the phone calls, the, the marketing, which is literally AI-driven or algo-driven anyway. So an AI would just go hand-in-hand hand with this one. Uh, it says, IBM on Tuesday told employees in a roughly seven-minute meeting, says, oh, that's cool, that it's cutting jobs in its marketing and communication division. Uh, listen, it's been real and it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. So you guys are leaving. <laughs> Imagine that's how that went. The chief communications officer, Jonathan, led the meeting, uh, according to somebody with knowledge of the matter. Uh, why even put that in there? Uh, maybe just a name, name and names. Okay. In December, IBM CEO Arvin told CNBC that the company, and this is the important part, was massively upskilling all of our employees on AI. Mm -hmm. So what's a, so this tells me, and, and we have talked about this, that the people who are skilled with AI tools are going to be replacing people who are not skilled with AI tools. And that's this is, I'm basically reading between the lines. That's kind of what's happening here. Mm -hmm. What do you? I mean, what do you think? Uh, I should have. Uh, sure. I should have scrolled down a little bit further. Let me get this last part out here. After it announced a plan in August to replace nearly 8,000 jobs with AI, it said on its earnings call in January that it was cutting another 3,900 positions. So, okay. Uh, okay. And it goes on to further 204 tech companies have cut almost 50,000 jobs, according to layoffs.fyi. 50,000? That number is. <laughs> climbing and it, yeah. it, it kind of goes into our last video where i talked about the government knows and is downplaying you know <laughs> Don't you think? anything else if i told you 50 if fifty thousand people had the rona and had to stay home that would be headline news on every platform yeah i i do wonder <laughs> if it's if it's it's going to have to creep up in numbers before people start paying attention. I think it's going to have to be into the multiple hundreds of thousands. I believe. Yeah. Okay. And you had a question before I cut you off. You said, "What do I? What do I think about?" Sorry, what was that again? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just like, are are you like me? You're reading between the lines that that this is exactly what this is: is AI taking over some of those jobs, or do you think it's something else? Uh, one thousand percent. And for anybody that's new to this channel, <laughs> I, I call this the beta phase. Mike loves to laugh at that, but I'm, I'm I am so serious. Like I will bet any amount of money on this. AI is the biggest Trojan horse we are just ushering in. We are just 
arms wide open, Creed playing in the background. We are bringing this thing in. Uh, so right yeah. now, I know more. I like the, the, so Mike and I. We have a job, right? It, it, it's hosting, or you know, we we got the show for whatever. And we work for I, IBM, but I figure out how I can do what Mike does with AI. So we go ahead and let Mike go. What I'm actually doing is letting Mike go while training AI how to do my job. So even the people that do know how to work AI, you're still on borrowed time. The, there's there's no getting out of this. I, I think that's yeah. the I think the whole learn AI. Don't get me wrong. I think you should because I would rather be I'd rather work up to the end and and then get get replaced as opposed to just be the first one out the door because. I mean, the the perk to that is you'll be first at the bread yeah. line, you know, like there's, there's some solid perks there, you know, <laughs> but uh, that's, that's about where that's going to be at this. Yeah. Transition yeah. Agree, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At the bread line, you know, what if they're serving? Yeah. Agreed, right? Right? Like, I... You get gravy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I agree. Right. Like I'd rather be employed for a couple more years while, while this mm -hmm. is going through the transition. Um, yeah. full well knowing that I'm out the door in like a year and a half, two years. Yeah. And I don't know if we it's have a, another video coming out. I was yeah, going to ask you about this, about this today is would you just start sucking up to your boss? I mean, like learning AI, telling your boss how beautiful they look today. Like, just like, Hey, I know AI is coming. Let me just be on the, on the last, last lifeboat <laughs> out. Like that, that's probably <laughs> yeah. a pretty smart plan uh, on, on someone's behalf. Um, sure. And, uh, and if you think AI isn't here, I want you guys to Google cognitive AI Devin. It is the first, um, computer engineer, software engineer. That's AI. And when you see the demo of this, it's like talking to Jarvis on Iron Man. So he says, Hey, uh, uh one of the demos is make a job on Upwork or something. Or compare these other, uh, one of the better ones is he says, hey, compare these large language models. That's what he tells Devin. Devin goes on the web first, searches up all the reports and everything about the large language models, then gets on the large language models and starts learning it how. But also as it does it, and they're, they're playing a recording of like what Devin sees, like, okay, here he found some errors in the code. So he's fixing it and he's replacing it. <laughs> and he's like keeping tabs on himself, running through this whole entire system all by himself. It's like having a, a best really? friend. Yeah, it's like having a best friend right next to you that's been a, a, a software engineer for years. He's like, oh, I'll do this real quick. And, but then you get to fast forward through all the him typing up the code and searching okay. through line by line errors. It's going to be well, our next I know, video. I know how I'm spending my evening. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to be our video. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be prepared. <laughs> um, okay. But I need everyone. No right problem. Now. Yeah, before we make that video tomorrow, I, you know what? I'm telling you, it's probably going to be tomorrow. Today, today's the 12th. I'm telling you, this video is probably coming out tomorrow because once you look it up, I'm getting another text at 1130. Like, it's it's going to be one of those <laughs> nights before, <laughs> once you look it up. Um, yep, absolutely. Before you guys watch tomorrow's video, let me know in the comments down below. What do you, what do you think about what we just said? And have you heard of Devin? And tell me... I want to know if you're going to go look that up and watch that demo. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments before and then reply to yourself what your comments are after, like after watching that demo. Because because it's insane. <laughs> if you think if you think this is I'll, I'll even bring it back up. It's a, a joke. If you think we're going to stop at marketing and communications. At this rate, you'll be lucky if that's all they lay off this week. Like it's yeah. it's. It's gonna be quick. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, I know we already had this, yeah, this video planned out, but it, if we had planned about this video, and then I saw Devin, and I was like, I'm surprised he didn't send me that one. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's coming. Yeah, like, like, you know, like we said, like we said, the the, the creative documentation or creative uh, like uh, copywriting. So you know all the sales material, which mm -hmm. is the communication and marketing. It's just mm -hmm. the low hanging fruit. That's that's the easy yeah, stuff yeah. that, that you're gonna, we're going to start seeing getting wiped out left and right. Yeah, that's not even frost on the windshield. Like that's just going to be like some annoyance, like dew on the grass. Like that it's right. Uh, I mean, I, I hate to say this because we're we're probably laughing and somebody's probably like, "Yeah, that was my job." 
you know, dick. And I'm like, well, sucks. Uh, and honestly, like, I hate to say it, but when I say it sucks to suck, like, I think everybody's going to be in that line. It's just a matter of what spot are you in? Like, we're, we're all standing in the line, I think. Yeah, you uh, you and me that, both. We we just may yeah. we we may be further back, but we're going to be in the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, I don't know, we'll wrap it up. We'll keep it short and sweet. I, I, I don't like the doom and gloom, but also it just needs to be talked about because we fifty thousand jobs. Again, it's the twelfth. Fifty thousand jobs so far have been laid off. This uh, was it this year from AI. Like, it, what are you going to wake up when it's 450? Like, when is that going to? Because by the time the public does wake up to this, uh, when the if, if I'm right and the government is, you know, uh, not uh, not low hanging, downplaying, downplaying it. Uh, right. By the time you figure that out, even if they are downplaying it, it's going to be way too late. And I would hate for people to find out the day they get fired with a seven minute video. Like TikToks are almost seven minutes, right, and that was right. the, that was the whole video you got of. By the way, your life is changing now. Like, thanks for the heads up. So, hopefully, these videos do serve yeah. uh, as rough. a heads up for everybody. Yeah. Um. All right. So we'll wrap it up here. You know your homework assignment. What? Uh, tell me right now, Mike. What do you? You wrap it up. You, you do the. Uh, you do the. Uh, what was it? The, the calls to action. But before you do that, tell me what your current thoughts are right now. And just from what I've told you about Devin. Uh, I'm not surprised. I'm not. I mean, given given what I mean, when I when I woke up last time with the text last time at 11 o'clock and it was about Claude <laughs> basically having some sentient uh, uh, responses. <laughs> This is just a matter of time. So I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm, I'm not surprised, but I am looking forward to seeing what it can do for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, we went from years to, <laughs> to, to months. This one, maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but the response might go from <laughs> months to weeks. <laughs> the only hope humanity has after watching this is like <laughs> DPT is slowly releasing things out because the public isn't ready. Like, thank you for at least that response. Um, all right, <laughs> exactly. Hit him with the uh, the calls to action, and we will wrap it up. You got to say bye first this time. All right, so I to my homework tonight. I'm looking up Devin, uh, to see what that can do, and uh, I'll be texting you later. <laughs> so I guess we'll call it there, right? Yep, we'll wrap it up here. We will see you guys all tomorrow with probably an urgent report of Devin. (laughs) Have a good one, guys. See you guys.